for watching our channel and happy 2013 all right happy new year and as promised uh i would say that uh, 2013 will be a very exciting year and this video is the first video for 2013 and i'm going to show you something uh that is uh, i think is quite exciting for the industry all right as you can see uh this probably is uh, some of you might recognize uh you might think this is a uh, you know 100 watts uh, compact series mono crystalline uh, solar panel uh, but in fact actually this is not this is something uh, completely new and first of its kind as all of you have a way that is uh, that is solar panel is actually uh, only producing a uh, direct current uh, with a voltage uh, from uh, you know 17 V to you know 72 V you know some panel are 17 to 18 V some panel is uh, 34 to 36 and some some of the solar panel is uh, 72 V all right and it's a direct current yeah? DC power um, but this panel actually it don't produce uh, DC power but it produce a uh, alternate current uh, AC power for example all right uh, this panel okay as you can see uh, we call it as a alternate current solar panel okay this panel will producing a 240 VAC 50 Hertz uh, you know kind of power but of course this panel actually is designed for Malaysia only uh, it's not for US because the US is using 110 uh, VAC and some of the part of the world are doing 220 VAC uh, but this prototype of this uh, alternate current or AC solar panel essentially is produced for uh, Malaysia and is the first prototype and it will produce uh, like I mentioned 240 VAC 50 Hertz all right as you can see uh, down there there is a back of the panel come up with a cable and with a three pin socket all right okay I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the three pin socket okay some of you might think this is a uh, you know a kind of joke all right a joke uh, how can a solar panel with a three pin uh socket are uh, this kind of you know a joke of 2013 or is a apple food no this is not all right uh this is an alternate current uh solar panel and what it is designed is actually is an uh, end user all right can put the panel on the roof or anywhere there is sunlight and the solar panel the alternate current solar panel will produce uh, uh will generate the power uh you know from the sun and then produce an alternate current uh current and straight away it will you know go inside to your grip all you have to do is actually is uh to plug this three pin socket uh, to a power point and the solar panel will generate the power and then you know go inside to your grip all right so probably i'll show you at the back of the solar panel okay it's a very straightforward with a junction board and then with a bunch of cable uh, for this prototype uh, we put in roughly about a uh, 10 meter long of uh, cable and a three pin socket as you can see this is a g type uh, tripping socket that is uh, used in Malaysia uh, yeah I think quite similar to the UK uh, socket yeah so at the back of the panel okay straight away with a tripping socket so all you can do is actually is straight away uh, this you know you can plug find any power point at your home businesses or factory and just plug it in when the Sun come out the solar cell will generate the power all right and producing an AC power and straight away uh, you know go inside to the grip just like this one yeah and you can you know just punch in all right to your grip and you know to your home to your businesses uh, okay all kind of this so as 2013 uh, moving forward so we urge all the you know solar panel uh, uh, factory or solar panel producer or you know OEM maybe need to be more innovative and a better way uh, you know to do uh, solar power yeah 
the old traditional way like for example like you need to have a lot of panels and you know uh, you need to have a expensive inverter all right and mounting kit and of course a very level intensive of uh, you know installation and things like that yeah so moving forward I will urge all this uh, solar panel manufacturer to think innovatively maybe you know just start with a direction whereby let's start with something more straightforward uh, more simple all right all right for example like this alternate current solar panel is one of the way if manufacturer produce the panel straight away can you know generate the uh, AC power and the end user straight away you know can just plug into their socket and straight away uh, you know generate uh, power and get the power from the sun this will be much simpler much cost effective and you know this will change the industry forever and in the short while probably I will just you know show you some example how this thing work and it's a pretty much very straightforward okay all right thank you I am lazy to go outside so I place the AC solar panel just outside the window and it's placed uh, you know vertically and you know so um, I just place in the window and connected the uh, AC panel uh, direct to an energy meter and plug into a power point all right a power socket all right as you can see that simple and I could probably zoom in and show you uh, how many watt is uh, uh, produced uh, right now it's roughly uh, you know producing roughly about 42 watt uh, this is low uh, because uh, two reasons. One reason is uh, quite early in here. It's roughly about 9 a.m. Uh, in the morning, and the mo uh, the biggest reason why the power generation is so low is because uh, the solar panel actually is placed uh, vertically instead of horizontally. So that's why uh, you can't really get uh, the sunlight. All right. But of course, if you place this in uh, uh, horizontally, then you definitely will get more power, all right? So uh, it's straightforward. All you need is just place the AC panel outside and, you know, plug to the uh, socket, then it generates uh, power. connect uh, directly to the house so you can see that wire and in the short I will show you inside uh, how much is the power generated right now the inside the house the energy meter roughly is producing about uh, you know uh, 80 watt for the uh, AC solar panel 